Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. We're moving right along this week through our look at some verses in the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Well, as I'm recording this, I've recently celebrated a birthday and well, my kids uh, showed up for my birthday, which was very nice, and my daughter baked me a cake, which was very nice of her, and I really appreciated my kids being there for me, because let's be honest, I've been there for them their entire lives. I can remember, oh, showing up at the police station at three o'clock in the morning to get my son out of trouble. I remember driving uh, supplies for some kind of an assignment to school on my lunch break because my daughter had forgotten to take them. I remember staying up till two in the morning, Googling ideas for science projects. I remember sitting through many tear-filled conversations after boyfriend breakups. Well, I'm not trying to paint myself as an extraordinary father because I believe this is simply what parents do. We show up. We're there for our kids in all kinds of ways. And I mention this because of the language in one of the verses uh, in our passage. I will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble, for I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. There are many metaphors used for God in the scriptures, for God's relationship to God's people. Um, and But in this particular instance, this is very rare in the book of Jeremiah, the language of God as, as a parent. And I think it's intentional because the people of Israel are living through exile. They're going through trauma and grief. And they need to be convinced uh, that the consolations uh, that Jeremiah is writing about are real. That in the midst of their struggles and troubles, that God indeed will listen, will hear their cries, will respond with compassion, will indeed show up for them. Why? Because that's what parents do. Amen. Thank you.